Yo, what up? I'm back at you. It's me again, Mike Cardi. We about to get. Yo, what up? I'm back at you. Yeah, we about to get up with the dang on Black Ink Crew, okay? <sighs> yeah, it was some dumb shit going on up in the episode, but like I say, I'm I'm just now waking up from sleep and all that. Um, yeah, so like I say, I'm that's why I'm looking like this in front of the camera. But I'm not. I don't give a fuck. I ain't gonna edit this shit. And it is what the fuck it is. I uh, got me a little Red Bull here, so we're gonna be good. We're gonna get through this thing together, okay? Um, before I even go any further, shout out to the family. Yes, 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 yes. Love you all. Got new people, new aunties, uncles. Yes, yes, yes. Yes. <laughs> uh, thank you all for just tuning in, okay? And, um,. You know, hit the like, hit the share. You know, if you have not, subscribe, subscribe. You know, um, I'm just about to get up into this thing on review right fast and uh, let the people know what the fuck is going on with the dang on crew. Okay, so we start the first dang on scene. <clears throat> Shit. Shit. Tell I just woke my ass up. I got Anywho. We start the dang on scene off with um the crew. They at the bar or whatever. And they pretty much sitting around taking shots and all that. And they getting fucked up or whatever. So Charmaine, she comes across this whole ad of Ryan hiring for new tattoo artists and new help and everything. And, um, you know, um, she's pretty much mad. And the whole crew, they, they mad and pissed off and all that. And they just trying to figure out what's the reasoning behind Ryan doing this. They all feel like they put into dang on nine mad and everything. And all this while they ranting and raving for getting pissed the hell off because ain't nobody listening to him. He like that, you know, quiet one that people kind of, you know, ignoring the damn room. So when they get fucking pissed off, they snap. So that's exactly what the fuck he did. He throws the damn chair on the table like, like, fuck it, listen. Like, why the fuck are we worried about it? Let's move the hell on. That's, that's what I've been thinking the whole damn time. Shit. That's what I've been thinking the whole time. Why y'all ain't moved on? Why y'all worried about Ryan's ass and why he up here got new tattoo artists? Why he shutting down this damn shop? And all y'all got dang on licenses to dang on do this shit out of y'all kitchen. Oh, hell, I know motherfuckers that ain't even got no damn license. And they tattooing out of kitchens and living rooms and on the front porches and shit. So what the hell? Like, for real, for real. Go ahead, do your dang on thing. You know? Y'all can make that shit pop. And Lily up here talking about how she need now nah, mad to build her clientele and everything like that. Girl, post your shit on Instagram. Why you ain't got no clients off of Instagram? You could dang gonna post your shit on damn Facebook or whatever. Do you a whole tattoo session on your YouTube, girl? You up here talking about you need Ryan? No, girl, you don't. Make a way for yourself. He dang gonna give you this platform, so utilize it, okay? Anywho, hmm. Let me drink on these hoes. Man, just come like, you know, we just need to rebuild this whole shit. I'm sorry about that one on my tangent. Damn. Moving along. So, Ryan, he's at his new place or whatever. He got a whole new staff. I don't know how the hell you got staff that damn quick. I really don't. How did you go from just hiring, now you got a whole full-blown staff, you got posters and all this stuff, and y'all get ready to go to the whole uh, Chicago Tattoo Convention because you like, the show must go on, you know. But whatever, you know, you done pulled it together for the cameras and everything, and uh, y'all getting ready to go, and you like, I'm, I'm about to do this, I'm still going, this is the new 9 Mag. Boom, next thing, dang on, Ashley, she, you know, she said, you know, Ashley... Your hair be whipped and dipped and slayed, okay? I love it. I love the little gray or whatnot that you was rocking. Yes, ma'am. You know, I got to always give you credit because the hair be popped, okay? Anywho, you know, she's meeting with Don at this little uh, restaurant or whatever, and she's pretty much over the situation. She's tired of Don and how he's always disrespecting her and everything, and, you know... 
you know, she really can't even be mad at nobody really but herself because she puts up with the shit. But anywho, she's pissed off at him because, you know, she put herself in a situation to be played again. <laughs> oh, anywho, and uh, she's like, um, I'm pretty much taking uh, Ashton to uh, Texas with me. And uh, you can have DJ here because he needs to stay in school. And uh, I believe that you're a great father. And, uh, you know, he just doesn't need to be separated. I mean, he doesn't need to be separated from you at this point in time. You know, and that way y'all can build a relationship because he is at an understanding age. And Ashton is. And so I understood that. And, you know, plus she needs time to think. Plus, you know what I'm saying, she got to go down somewhere because she, she done pretty much pushed her own self up out of her own house. You know, but... Hell, she quit her job. So it's really Don's house because she ain't, you know, she wanted to be house mother thinking that she was going to be able to work him to death and he wasn't going to have time to go play. Whatever. So she got to go take some time to, uh, you know, stay with her brother in Texas where he going to, you know, pretty much provide a shelter and food for her and her child because she don't want to be, you know, be up under Don's ruling by taking his money. So I get it. I get it, girl. But I'm just trying to figure the whole, you know, you already knew what was going to happen. You already knew. I talk about this shit all the time. Anywho, she's like, that's my final decision. Don's not feeling it. He's like, but I'm going to let that shit slide for now. So uh, she gets in the cab, you know, pretty much kisses DJ. Oh, uh, He's crying, and, you know. Don goes on about, you know, with DJ, you know, trying to console him. And uh, she gets Ashton in the car and whisk away, and they about to go to the airport. Head down to Texas. So, you know, Ashley, I hope you pull it together. I really know that, um, excuse me, shit. I know that you, <laughs> oh, God. I really know that you, there you go, um, love Don, but, you know, I don't think that Don is, you know, the one for you or whatever. But, you know, y'all got this lifetime bond. Anywho, let's move along. Van is at the Chicago Rilla Warehouse, and he's pretty much there with the whole crew. They meet up, and um, Lily calls this meeting, And uh, but, you know, I must say this right here, because I didn't report on this last week. You know, Van, you did a damn good job with that damn uh, fashion show. Um, I really think that you, you did a damn good job being, uh, being the fact that you had a heat press, and you just did that shit, and it just started off as a brand. I wonder what the whole gorilla thing was that you was wearing all these episodes because I had always noticed it, but I didn't know whose brand it was, but I must say great job or whatever. It sucks that you saying that, you know, even with all that, it still ain't pay for your damn bills up in the warehouse and for all that you done spent for the clothing line, but like I say, hopefully you get more sales, you know, based off of this. And I'm pretty sure that you will, whatever, but I just want to give you kudos on the Chicago Umbrella line because I didn't report on the show last week. Okay, so boom. Um, but Lily calls this to me in and um they are pretty much at the uh she she's pretty much um gathering them together so they can she, she, <laughs> so she can reveal to them that they're gonna be having the uh Chicago ink convention or whatever and she wants the whole crew to go there so they all sit around and think about a name so they like you know what i'm saying royalty ink you know what I'm saying somebody's like no loyalty ink and i'm like okay that's a cute little name because y'all all seem to be like y'all gonna stick together as a family so y'all might as well you know stay loyal to each other and rebuild this thing that's what y'all should have been doing from the jump after y'all confronted ryan or whatever and he was like fuck y'all or whatever y'all should have not even revisited that whole thing y'all should have came together beforehand but the fact that Lily had to pull y'all together and y'all finally come up with a cohesive name hopefully y'all can move on from this or whatever and it looks like that y'all are going to so this time Lily pulls Charmaine to the side and she's like you know I know De um what's the young girl name Velvet came by and she was seemed like she was starting mess but she really won't them text messages was real girl and uh here they go right here and you know charmaine's like okay uh, okay that's some fuck shit but send them shits to me right now so we moves along van jen and his daughter they sitting around eating chicago deep dish pizza and the pizza was looking you know yeah i don't do pepperonis and stuff but it was you know it looked pretty pretty good like it was it was gonna be tasty a little bit and um Van is like, you know, let me see your phone or whatever. Put it on the table. And so, 
He then gonna snatch at the phone and he goes through her phone. It's like, okay, this is my phone if I'm paying the bill and if you stand up under my roof. And then the daughter's like, um, what the hell's going on? <laughs> it's like, <laughs> uh, like uh, who the hell is Aaron? And why does he have a heart and a lot beside his name? And I'm like, um, Van, you do know your daughter is growing up. You do know that she's going to be liking little guys unless you want her to like little girls. But she's like, okay, it's a friend. What, what's, what's it to you? And I just want to go on a date with him to the movie. So he's like, okay, I got to protect you and Jen, but I'm going to see. Okay, so pretty much we're going to move along. Um, we at Charmaine's uh, apartment. And uh, pretty much she's packing up because it's her damn lease is up or whatever. Danielle comes over and um, they get to talking about Velvet and the whole fashion show and all that. And Charmaine's like, okay, look, girl, I know, you know, y'all about to get married and everything, but Velvet, that shit was true. And it looks like they've been texting up to about two weeks ago because I got the text messages to prove it or whatever. So um, pretty much... She's in confessional, like, you know what I'm saying? I didn't know, whatever. But production's like, okay, did you know about the text message? And she, like, looks to the right, and she's like, you know, no. And I'm like, girl, girl, your ass knew about this shit or whatever. But anywho, y'all got to do this for the camera. So whatever. She act like she's pissed off and upset and all this, that, and the third or whatever. We move along. Van, you know, he's uh, at the bank on theater, escorting his daughter, and uh, meets the friend, Aaron, and pretty much all the homies roll up. Yes. Oh, my God. What? They was looking kind of ju 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 juicy. Yes. Real scrumptious. Okay. I was like, hell yeah. I was like, hell yeah. Y'all looking real good. Because I had some real nasty thoughts going through my mind at that damn time or whatever. For real, for real. I had some real nasty thoughts going through my mind. And I don't know about y'all. But them things up in them dang on St. Sasha, they was all squall and everything like that right now. Mm. Mm, 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 <sighs> Anywho, they like no touching, no feeling, no none of that. I'm going to be sitting right out here by the car waiting on y'all ass or whatever. So Aaron, he's still like happy because he like, I still get to go on a date. Because the daughter's like, y'all tripping. Move the fuck out of the way. Move along. Anywho, Danielle, she pretty much is at the dang old apartment. She's waiting on Terrence to get there. And, um... Uh, Pretty much, Terrence rolls up in the door. She's like, hey, fiance. How you doing, fiance? Is there something you want to tell the class, fiance? And he's like, uh, what the fuck is wrong with you? And uh, what's really going on? She's like, okay, really? You going to sit here and play me like I'm motherfucking stupid? What the fuck is up with these text messages? And um, why would you just texting this girl? I mean, he like, you know, I fucked up. I fucked up. I don't know what to say. You always fucking up. And she always taking you to hell back. So that's why you continue to fuck up. Okay? And that's really what the hell I see it as. Um, but anywho, she's just like, you know, uh, if you're going to be sitting here doing this, I mean, until you prove to me that uh, you that you're going to do right and da 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 And I'm like, girl, whatever. Here you go. Until you prove to me, that lets me know you're going to take his ass the fuck back or whatever. But you gave up that ring on camera or whatever. You putting on or whatever. Like I say, it, next season, y'all going to be right back there. Before this season even ends, you probably going to be right back together. Probably. Because that's it seems like what the hell happens. Hell, y'all done slapped each other. He done cheated on you before. What? Danielle, stop it, girl. Stop it. Stop it. Okay? Anywho. Moving along. Anyway, so they at the Contactoo convention and all that as loyal. Ain't Charmaine got the dang on crew there. 
and then um, you know got the DJ and they all selling merchandise they tattooing they making that money and stuff you know what I'm saying then boom Four was like you know I got to go cause I ain't got my bloodborne pathogens and you know that's pretty much like his protection so in case somebody catches something or you whatever like you know he won't get sued or whatever so he has to leave, go home, and get his certification or whatever. So Charmaine, she's a little bit ticked off. Then Don's like, okay, I gotta go get DJ because Ashley ain't here, and I, I'm a single dad at this point in time or whatever. So I gotta go do what I gotta do. So at this point, Charmaine, she's she's still ticked off at both of the brothers, you know, calling them the step brothers or whatever. I'm like, girl, sit your ass down somewhere, Miss Charmaine. Ugh. You get on my nerves from time to damn time, okay? You can be quite obnoxious. Anywho, so um, they end up discovering that Ryan has a shop uh, with some new dang on people under the 9Mag logo. And uh, they in like the all red and black and everything. He got a team of like 20 plus people and stuff. And pretty much Seeds rolls up and he's like, hold on, I see your old crew over there. Like, what are you doing over here? And um, don't you know once you cross this line, ain't no going back, bro. And Ryan's like, fuck him. Fuck him. He's like, okay, or whatever. So at this point in time, Charmaine, she's like, okay, wait a minute. Ryan got somebody or whatever, got a whole new crew, takes it back to the crew. Vance pissed the dang on fuck off, kicks over the chair. At this point in time, Lily goes over there to confront Ryan, pulls him off to the sides, like, how can you do this to me? How can you do this to me because shit. You really brought me out here, and you really you dang gone was supposed to guide me and nurture me, and uh, looks like you done left me high and dry. And pretty much, Ryan's like, girl, fuck you. Van comes up, he's like, you know what I'm saying, dude? Like, what the fuck? Like, we helped build this shit and everything like that, and um, how you gonna do this thing? <laughs> Ryan's like, fuck you. I mean... That's all I can really say. That's Ryan's whole attitude about the whole situation. At this point in time, I get that y'all put in with 9Mag and everything, but at the, at the same time, Ryan branded it. I don't know if he trademarked it or whatever, but at this point in time, it is his brand. It is his brand, so he can do whatever he want to do with it. At this point in time, he has fired y'all. Y'all might as well go ahead and create y'all own thing right here and get off his dang on job. So... Like I say, that, that's what's really going on up in the episode. I just really think the whole crew just need to pull their shit together. But it looks like that's what they be doing next episode. Because uh, Van looks like he got some keys to a new dang on place or whatever. And uh, looks like Charmaine getting her ass rat tap 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 <laughs> What? Yes. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Like I say, hey, it's... <sighs> Lily ain't about that shit, whatever, because she, she on some shit where she like, Charmaine, I'm tired of you. I got me a new girl I'm bringing up in here, and I'm just tired of hearing your shit or whatever. And I'm, I'm ready to attack your ass. Like I say, it's going to be some shit next episode. Y'all just stay tuned or whatnot. Subscribe to the channel. Like, share. Um, I love you all. Love you all. All right, bye. <laughs>